Right then, so we've come from all the way down there. It's a nice little steady climb up, this one. Through this lovely slaughterhouse coo. A few uh, little streams to cross on the way. Lovely trees, all looking fresh and lively. Yeah, all looking fresh and lively. And these plants, little flowers coming out here and there on the elderberries. The blueberries, whatever you want to call them, blueberries I think, not elderberries. The blueberry. Now it's supposed to cloud over soon. It is starting to a bit. There's still quite a bit of blue sky. I just love all those trees. Look at them. Look at them. Amazing. And of course as the months go by they'll get richer and richer with leaves. With a bracken. The bracken, there's the bracken that ain't really come up yet. It's there though. At the moment we're not bombarded with the the six nine foot bracken. No. Look at that lovely scene. Isn't that beautiful? Let's just zoom up. Uh, yeah, you see, see there's a track there. All that does is take you back up up that hill up there and you can either go over that way or down down that big hill there but we're not doing that we're going to carry straight on up the coo like I said the bracken is still not looking dominant at the moment it's uh, just just surfacing I'll just zoom in the old sprig here in there look there we go see See them? They're tall green shoots. They've been asleep in the winter. And they're tall green shoots. And look at that greenery. And the water, the sound of the bubbling brook. It's so beautiful. I'm videoing it. I know I've done it before, but I might have done it in the middle of the summer, for example, right? So it'll be different. It will never be the same. Um, although I come out, I've been out on the Quantox in April before. I might not have come out this, it could have been the beginning of April, or it could have been two weeks into May, or something like that. So things change. Things change. Right, do we carry on for a minute? Um, or do we stay this side? I think we stay this side, actually. That'll take you up that path, which goes up like that. Or you can go over the hill. We've had a casualty. I'm not sure if I go this way. I can't remember, really. I'll find out in a minute. There might be another path I have to take. I always never remember. So I'll get you. I can hear the cuckoo. I can hear the cuckoo. In the distance, cuckooing away. Oh, that's probably fallen not long ago, I'd say. In that <laughs> Hurricane Hannah that was here. Just a couple of days ago, it would have been, there'd be a few trees just giving up the ghosts, if you like. So I just got to climb over here. This old tree, which was once standing, the last time I came here, is now going to return nutrients to the soil. The bikers will come and remove it so they can get up. Ah. 
Here we go, a bit further up the coombe. Yeah, we're on. The, we're doing the right thing. We're on the right track. Up Slaughterhouse Coombe. We will go up to its tapered end, and then emerge near a quite a large track, not far from the Macmillan Way. Um, I have got a map, not on me, but which tells you in the name of every single track. And of course, this is like a cantok. Quantok meaning cantok. As I've described before, but some of you might never have heard my other videos. So sometimes I have to repeat a bit. For those that haven't had the pleasure of Sheila's videos on the Quantock Hills. Yeah, we could have come across there on that way, but we came that way. You hear that cuckoo? Echoing in the coom? That's like my cuckoo at home. Except it stopped cuckooing last night for some reason. There was a bang in my flat. And uh, I need to test my cuckoo out now. It isn't that long, I've new batteries. But a cuckoo doesn't just suddenly stop. Although I've got a feeling it does stop at night. I've got a feeling it stops after midnight. Maybe it doesn't start again till nine o'clock. So we'll have the benefit of the doubt. <sighs> doesn't annoy me, I don't even notice it sometimes. I think, oh, that's cuckoo. It's like today, I thought, I haven't heard cuckoo this morning. But maybe it doesn't start till nine. I don't know, I can't remember. <sighs> I think they do turn off at night. Not people cuckoo going all day and night, do they? It's just a picture below it was on the floor when I got up this morning and I did hear a bang last night. I don't know what it was. I did I thought something had fallen in the toilet area, but I couldn't see anything. There was um a couple of things had moved actually. Um my sister Jude's I, I bought her a replica of what she had as a drinking vessel for walkers. Purple, it holds like a pint in a bit or something. With a picture of her inside it. Now that was on the floor this morning. That had fallen. So that was a bit odd. And maybe I've got a ghost. Maybe Jude's trying to warn me. I am in the new building. Look at that embedded in the tree, look. Probably for the bikers. Right, so I've been rambling on quite a bit, haven't I? Coming up this hill. In a minute, it bears up there where I took Daisy and Amber that time. I'm not going that way. That'll take you to Somerton Coombe. We don't want to get back yet. So we'll be, we'll sort of be going that way in a minute. Heading through there. And so it tapers out and it gets quite high. It's already starting to get high, the banks of the stream. It gets even higher and narrower up there. Isn't the cuckoo really loud now? Alright, over and out everyone. This is Sheila, near the top of Slaughterhouse Coombe on the Quantock Hills near Holford. Over and out.